fire tornadoes just mentioned in Carter's report are a scientific phenomenon. These intense fires can whip up these towering spirals. Here to explain more about this extreme fire behavior is Lonnie Quinn of our New York flagship station, WCBS. Lonnie. Well, good evening, Jeff, and good evening, everyone. The pictures you're looking at here, okay, this is your fire tornado. But what is the science behind it? Look at that twist, okay? It's all about heat. Now, I put together a little explainer. You've got a lot of heat being generated right now around this car fire, uh, and it's all from the fire itself. But there's a second source, the ambient air temperature. You said close to, you know, triple digits, closer to 110 degrees, actually. So that air is super fast rising into the atmosphere. And you need to think of this as the air being a solid. And if you're taking a chunk of that air, superheating it and rising it into the air, it's leaving a void below it. That gets filled in by air rushing in from all different angles, and that's creating your twist. And that brings about the fire tornado. The other thing it does, see this? It brings those embers so far up in the atmosphere and flings them out. This is how this fire was able to cross the Sacramento River, Jeff. Wow. Uh, this has been a heck of a weather week, I mean, across the country, Lonnie. And, and there's, more, there's also more dangerous weather headed to the East Coast tonight. Can we talk about that? Yeah, we, yeah definitely. And, and some of this is, unfortunately, on the tragic side as well. Look at this. You have a tornado touching down outside of Savannah, Georgia. The problem with this is there was no warning on this. The National Weather Service did not issue a warning. Kind of took some folks by surprise. The severe weather chances are really from Virginia all the way up to Maine, and that's existing out there right now. Jeff? Okay, Lonnie Quinn, thank you very much for that.